All right, so I'm at my little secret spot out here. Not many people know about this spot. What's up guys? I know it's been a little while again. Is it recording? It's recording. Okay. I know I said last time I've been working on this project and that's kind of why my time's been taken up. Well, now I'm trying to get the website together. I didn't realize how hard it is to put a website together. So that's kind of what I'm trying to work on. I know I've been kind of posting the video here and then not post the video for a little while and then post the video again. Bear with me for a little bit. I'm getting it done. On that note, I want to say thank you for the guys that you guys have been liking my videos and leaving comments. I'm responding to every single comment. So if you have any questions or if you want to leave any comments down below, I'm responding to you, every single one of you. And I just feel like for how small of a channel I am I feel like I'm getting a decent amount of likes so thank you to you guys those are actually gonna really help me out maybe not so much right now but it's gonna really help me out in the future so thank you so much for that and uh, so another thing is is that free program that I'm giving you free access to because it's early right now I'm leaving it open for two more days and for those of you that have signed up already I've sent you an email going over kind of what it's gonna be about what I need from you I just need a swing video from you. I'm just trying to get to know what your swing looks like so then I can get you through my program and kind of give you a little head start. So if you use an email that you don't really care about, which don't worry, I did the same thing too. So don't worry, I get it. I do the same thing, but check out that email that you listed and just give me a reply with the two or three things that I've listed down in the email. So with that being said, we're gonna go, it's a little cloudy out. I think it's kind of windy. I don't really have that much sunlight left, but I'm gonna go work on my short game a little bit. Take you guys with me. We'll skip the we'll skip the car travel part. So see if this works. All right, man. I wish it was that easy. All right, so I'm at my little secret spot out here. Not many people know about this spot. It's just one hole. It used to be a little par three course, uh, but they left this one hole out here. I don't know if you can see that, but it's pretty windy out there. That's why I'm right here, so you guys can actually hear me. But uh, this is something I like to do for my short game. If I was a betting man, I'd probably say that this is how you practice your short game right here. Yeah, it's, it, it serves its purpose. Um, if you're working on your mechanics, actual motion of the chip shot, then yeah, it, it serves its purpose. But in terms of actually getting your short game better, it's not gonna do a whole lot. So when I was in college, we'd play this game called the gauntlet. And if I'm not mistaken, it was coined that by Russell Henley when uh, my coach was playing in college and Russell was there with him. So could be wrong about that, but I think that's where the name comes from. But it's called a gauntlet, and it's basically just an up and down contest. Play nine or nine or 18 holes, whatever you want. You want to try to get around the course with a certain score. So, you know, kind of mix in some hard holes, some easy holes, and you're trying to make it through nine holes. And today, it's pretty windy out, and the greens are kind of punched, but I think I can make it through with two over. Might be a little hard, but two over through nine holes, pretty solid. That's what I'm gonna do right now. Let's get to it. Yeah, so my drone died, um, so I couldn't keep filming like I wanted to, but basically I needed to chip in at least once out of the next two holes, and so that's going to be kind of pretty tough to do, so I would have had to keep continuing and play another nine holes until I can get through with my goal in hand, which was two over par through nine holes. And so that's what we would do in college a lot, you know, our co coach would set up a nine hole track and we would have to make it through whatever it was that day, even par or one over. 
um, and some of us it would take us three to four hours if we were just not chipping well that day or if we, were, we weren't making any putts or if the, the holes are set up really hard. You just keep on going until you make it through whatever goal you've set it on. And, and here's the thing, I recognize that you might not have the luxury of having a short game area to yourself. So this is what I like to do and I still do this a lot myself. Go out on the golf course like you normally do, but after each hole, drop a ball, try to get up and down two times in a row, not from the same spot, pick a different spot, and you can't move on to the next hole until you've gotten up and down twice in a row. Now obviously if there's people behind you, you don't want to be keeping people around you, so hopefully you can find a day where it's not very packed and there's not people behind you that you're holding up. Make sure you're not doing that, I don't want to be held responsible for that, but you know, that's going to be really good for you in actually improving your short game because like I said earlier, you know, if you're trying to improve your actual, you know, chipping mechanics and something you're trying to feel something in your chipping, then yeah, it's perfectly fine to chip in one spot over and over again just to get the feeling down. That's that's kind of for what you're trying to do, it's exactly what you need to be doing. You know, repetition is key there. But in terms of actually improving your short game and getting up and down more and actually becoming a better golfer, that's not really gonna do a whole lot. What's really gonna help you is actually simulate what you're doing on the golf course and just getting used to getting up and down more and more often. So that's kind of what I'm gonna be doing more these days. I'm just not very happy with how my short game is right now. It's fine, but it just needs to be a lot better. If I, For my standards, it's just gotta be a lot better. I'm trying to get revved up here for a couple smaller tournaments. Um, and I have a couple other things in plan as well in terms of uh, my pro golf career and hopefully getting something lined up uh, for the future, but uh, it's kind of dependent on a couple other things. I hope these other things kind of fall in line. A lot of it's just kind of money based. I need to have the money for it, but that's kind of where I'm headed. Hopefully I can bring you guys along with some of these pro golf tournaments. It's gonna be a lot smaller than you think. It's gonna be a little bit of um, a little stupid, but it's just gonna be nice for me to get back into competitive golf and just get my competitive juices flowing. So that's it for me today. If you've liked this video, Make sure you give it a thumbs up. It actually really does help me out when you guys do that. If you're not subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you hit that notification bell because I'm making new videos every week just like this one. You don't want to miss it. I'll see you in the next video.